And then uh, we need to match it to uh, H to Z, okay? that is the transformation in uh, digital frequency. So this is uh, ohm D. Okay? So uh, omega A is in another form, uh, HF, and then we need to match it with H to Z with uh, digital frequency uh, ohm uh, D. Okay? Then uh, how to design this uh, H to Z with digital frequency? Uh, we can uh, use uh, two methods. Okay? One, uh, we take a C and then we match it with uh, omega A and then uh, pre mock the frequency of ohm D and then obtain uh, H Z from H S uh, using uh, equations uh, below here. Okay? <laughs> to find uh, what the value of omega A using this formula C tangent on uh, 0.5 ohm D and then uh, match uh, H Z with uh, H S okay? uh, and then from here you can find uh, C what's the value or what's the standard value that can match the formula okay? <coughs> Uh, or the second method, okay. So that's one method, okay. The first method, uh, just now, uh, find a C and then uh, match it with uh, this Z uh, with this Z, okay. The second method is to uh, assume, okay, assume C equals to one, okay. Don't need to find C. Uh, assume C equals to one, but then you have to pre-walk the equation by having uh, calculating omega, uh, omega x of tangent zero point five ohm d, okay. And then uh, find uh, value HS. Then you need to scale HS to become uh, HS omega A divided by omega X. Okay. And then use the transformation F equals to Z minus 1, Z plus 1, where uh, C equals to 1. Okay, which is like this. H1 becomes HS. Okay, because you scale uh, HS to H1. Okay. And then from here, you find the H, uh, Z from this uh, H1 uh, value. Okay. So uh, there's two methods there. Eh? One, assume C equals to one, but then you need to pre-walk and then uh, use the scaling uh, method. Okay. If you calculate C like the first method, then you don't need to use this uh, pre-walk or scaling uh, technique. Okay. Uh, I'll show you an example how how to uh, how to do the two different way. Okay. So I assume that you are given a filter like this. So uh, H F equals to three divided by S squared plus three S plus three. Okay. So it said design a filter uh, with a uh, cutoff frequency here, F0 equals to 3 kHz. Uh, HS is given uh, omega A equals to 4 radian, and then uh, sampling with S equals to 12 kHz. Okay? So uh, sometimes questions don't give you S, you need to calculate. Okay? So you must remember the formula S equals to 1 over. Ah. What's the formula S is now? Where's the formula S? Where's S? S equals to 1 over TS. Okay. So uh, sometimes S is not given, but it's given in sampling rate. So you need to calculate it as before uh, you need to find it. Okay. Uh, so it depends on the question. Okay. Sometimes it's like that now, it's given this straight away S, then you do need to calculate, okay? S equals to drop below. If not, then you need to find, okay? So, uh, first, after you get this question like this, you need to calculate the ohm, okay? Because this is important, then the digital frequency, uh, uh, or something like omega for digital frequency. So, uh, ohm equals to 2 pi uh, F0 divided by S, okay? All this must be given, okay? So, you get ohm equals to 0 0.5 uh, pi. Okay. That is for uh, digital frequency. Okay. So uh, solve. Okay. Now this uh, this question will show you how to solve the two method. Uh, first, we use method one. Okay. Method one where you need to calculate uh, C. Okay. So uh, C is selected by choosing the pre walk. Okay. So uh, omega A is given four radians. So uh, remember the formula just now. Okay. Omega A equals to uh, C tangent zero point five ohm. Okay. So uh, C equals to four divided by tangent ohm. Okay, so now you have uh, 4 uh, tangent, you know, uh, ohm this time we have calculated 0 0.5 pi So when you put it in, you get a value C equals to 4 Okay, so now uh, using method 1, we calculate C is equals to value uh, 4 Okay, so after that, uh, HS uh, transform into HZ okay? Remember this time the equation I show you S to convert into Z transform 
So S equals to C, Z minus 1, Z plus 1, okay? So C, we have calculated 4, Z minus 1, and then Z plus 1, okay? So what happened now is that this whole thing S must be replaced uh, inside to the equation S, eh? inside uh, this equation, or this S. Okay, all this S must be replaced by uh, the formula of this uh, for z minus one, z plus one like this. Okay, so uh, take the one, uh, we write it again. This time was H S equals to three S squared plus three S plus three. So now we convert to uh, z because we have converting S to z transform. So we write this z equals to three. Uh, this whole thing is placed inside here. Okay. Then after that, uh, you need to expand the thing, okay? Whatever square here or expand, and then uh, simplify until you get uh, something like this, okay? Three z plus one squared, three one z squared, two squared one plus seven, okay? So uh, that's what you need to do for the uh, first uh, method, okay? So you get this here. That's all. Finish. Uh, method two, okay. Method two, uh, you don't calculate c, okay. You assume uh, c equals to one, okay. If you use method two, assume c equals to one. Uh, what happens is that you need to use this formula: omega x equals to tangent zero point five uh, ohm d. Ohm d, I calculated just now. So we put it in. We assume omega x equals to one, okay. And now uh, we have to do a uh, scaling, okay. This, this means scaling that. Uh, HS convert to H1 Okay, we put here H1S Assume that it's going to be scaling And uh, scaling formula is uh, HS omega A divided by omega X Okay, which is scale uh, 4 is to 1 Okay, omega A uh, radian 4 Omega X we calculated 1 So scale 4 is to 1 So which means that H is equal to uh, 4S So what happened now uh, All this uh, S here Replace inside the S squared just now, okay? So we re uh, we rename this one as H one S because H one S we calculated H S H four S, okay? So H one S all the S replaced by four S, and then you get this answer, okay? H one S. After getting H one S, uh, it's not finished yet because we need to get uh, H Z, okay? So after getting H one S, uh, to get H one S uh, to obtain H Z from H one S. So we need to use another uh, this transformation S equals to Z minus 1, Z plus 1 okay? So what happened now, uh, HZ equals to 3 uh, The one that we have calculated is now here 16 S squared plus 12 S plus 3 Now we have to replace all the S with this Z minus 1, Z plus 1 okay? So and then uh, you simplify and you should get the same answer like the first one Okay, so uh, there's two methods, okay? Uh, in the exam or final, uh, I don't predict which method you can use, which one is up to you, okay? So when you study, it uh, depends. Uh, if this question comes out, you can either uh, choose, assume this method one, or you choose this uh, method one or the method two, okay? Depends on yourself uh, how you study and how you, which one is most suitable for you, okay? So, uh, so that's the answer there after getting uh, this z here. Okay? This z and then uh, to calculate uh, hs, okay, this is uh, just to plot. If, if the question asks you the plot, then you can you can plot, okay? Uh, the plot uh, hs, okay, assume s equals to j omega and then z equals to this, okay? Uh, hs is now given 3 divided by s plus 3 s plus j. Okay, we replace this and then uh, we are trying to find the magnitude, okay? The magnitude for HS, uh, 0.16985 and then uh, you calculate the tangent uh, that's the angle, 0.1695 and then you just roughly sketch uh, HS and HS okay? this one is the question how to plot uh, HS and HS by uh, plotting the value okay? uh, if the question don't ask you to plot then you can just stop at, uh, at this down there okay? but if you ask you to plot then you need to uh, Calculate, assume S equals to uh, J omega, where omega is the radian <coughs> of this now. Okay, and then uh, calculate that. Uh, ohm, ohm, just now we calculate 0.5, so you get uh, pi divided by 2, and then you uh, put into this uh, formula, the original HS, and then calculate the magnitude, and then the phase for it. Okay, and then just calculate, uh, sketch the output of this uh, system here. Okay. 
के एनी पेशेंट रेस गर्ल्स या